name is Hayden Hartman, and welcome to Holgate Local News. First up in our news, we have yearbook orders. This year's theme for the yearbook is Through the Eyes of a Tiger. See Miss Stover's window to view your cover, order your yearbook online at www.jostensyearbook.com, or pick up an order form in the office or from Miss Stover. Shirley's Popcorn Fundraiser Forms. Shirley Popcorn Fundraiser Forms and money are due today, February 26th, to Miss Schrader. Middle School Quiz Bowl. Attention all 7th and 8th grade students still interested in Middle School Quiz Bowl. Today is the last day to sign up if the spots are still open. The sign-up sheet is in Miss Gray's room. CCP students. Students taking CCP courses through Owens Community College next year. The AccuPlacer has been rescheduled for Tuesday, March 2nd at 9 a.m. in the Elementary Computer Lab. Spring Pictures. Spring Pictures have been rescheduled for Monday, March 15th. And next up, we have Hustina with our Sports News of the Week. Those interested in junior high track can sign up in Mr. Hurt's room. And on February 22nd, Holgate Freshman Boys played against Antwerp and the GMCs and sadly lost with a score of 31-15. and Signups will be held March 8th, 2021 in the school atrium. With staggered times, T-Ball sign-up is from 4 to 4.45 p.m., softball from 4.30 to 5.15 p.m., and baseball from 5.15 to 6 p.m. Please wear a mask, practice social distancing, and one to two people are allowed to attend per family. A representative from each spot will present from 4 to 6 p.m. for families who have multiple children playing multiple sports. The Tigers beat Edgerton in the first round of sectionals, 44 to 37. Sectional finals will be played at Hexwell at 7 p.m. today. Now for this week's weather. Starting off with Saturday the 27th, there will be a high of 48 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 32, with rain showers early with some sunshine later in the day. Next up is Sunday the 28th. Sunday is going to give us a high of 45 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 31 degrees Fahrenheit, with it being mostly cloudy. Now starting off the new month of March, on Monday the 1st, we will be greeted with a high of 41 degrees and about 23 degrees Fahrenheit, with it being cloudy with a mixture of rain and a snow with a chance of 40% then becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon. In addition, Tuesday the 2nd will approach us with the partly cloudy skies with a high of 37 and a low of 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, snow showers will be coming mixed with rain later in the day. Also for weather, Wednesday the 3rd, we will be seen with considerable cloudiness and with occasional rain showers with a high of 47 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's all for your local weather. Next up is Emma with Did You Know? Did You Know? Einstein's brain was stolen when he died. When Einstein passed, he left specific instructions on what to do with his body. He instructed those who were responsible for his remains to cremate them and scatter the ashes secretly. Thomas Harvey, the pathologist on call when Einstein died, did not follow those instructions. Instead, he stole Einstein's brain. When Einstein's family found out, Harvey was able to keep the brain in two jars in his basement. And now, Justina with our joke of the day. And now for the joke of the day. What do the other mouse say to the other mouse trying to steal his cheese? Why? That's nacho cheese. <laughs> Here are the previous and next week birthdays. Chance Ashwell turned 13 on February the 15th. Elizabeth Orisco and Haley Hartman also shared their birthday on February the 15th. Kelly Thacker's birthday was on February the 18th. Macy Silver had her birthday on February the 21st. Gage Walters had his birthday on February the 23rd. Mitchell Platts had his birthday on February the 24th. And Therese Taylor had her birthday yesterday on the February 25th. Happy birthday to Douglas Nienberg today. Thank you for watching HLN. See you next time, Holgate.